Hi, I'm Mike Massimino, and this is Inside the International Space Station. Well, not really. You feel like you're not missing everything. I tell people, you know, we can call them, but they can't call us. Yeah. Give me a break. Don't call yeah, so yeah. much. For grandkids floating in space. So we're going to talk with uh, Joe Acaba and Sonny Williams about their upcoming space flight. You know, I think the space station life uh, and training, everything fits my personality a little bit better than shuttle. You know, shuttle is pretty... Uh, like Joe said, pretty direct, and you know what you're yeah. going to do, and boom, boom, boom. And for station, it's pretty much like, well, we'll see what happens. Like Joe said, when we when you get there, and you sort of have to be flexible. And I, I think I, uh, I live my life a little bit like that. We'll see what happens, and it's okay. And it's, uh, I think it's a, a little bit of a change of, of pace. It's a little, maybe a little bit slower in some regards, but um, it's a marathon, so you have to be be ready to do this for a long time. And I, I like that. I like that better, actually, I think, than this rush, rush shuttle flight. And actually, one of the really cool things about it is you get to um, engage people on the ground when you're up there for a long time. Uh, folks know that we're going. We only hit, we're, we're launching out of Kazakhstan, so it's a long trip. It's expensive. Not many of your guests get to go to launch, mm -hmm. but that's okay because you're going to be up in space for a long time, and you get to interact with them for six months. For example, my dad and my mom aren't going. They're a little bit older, and I, su I said, don't go, and they're feeling bad about it. I said, you know, the launch is only, is only you know, the first eight minutes, really, and then the rest of the time we'll be in space. Six months we'll be on the space station. We'll be able to use the phone and the Internet to uh, you know, do net meeting and, and see you down on the ground, so that's okay. So I, li I like the space station idea, um, just because you can bring a whole bunch of people along with you for six months. They're they're watching what you're doing. If you uh, if you have the ability to write a journal or send down pictures or tweet or do Facebook and stuff like that from from space, it really engages a lot of people, and I think that's really important. And it's it's good for kids in school and other organizations. So it's it's fun. It's going to be fun. It's interesting you said because sometimes you would one would think not knowing what the experience you've had is that you're going into space, you're going to be, you, know, you have your crewmates, but it's kind of like you're isolated. Yeah. You know, you're in your own world, more or less, but almost literally. You know, you're, all, you're, you're off the planet. Mm -hmm. Everyone else is here. Right? And you're, like, everybody else is here. <laughs> and you're up there, but really, the way you describe it is that you're, you're actually connected. Oh, yeah, I think so. Planet. I think you bring everybody along. My sister said last time, I would write a journal on Sunday night, so they would get up, her and her friends and uh, at work, they would all get in their inbox on Monday morning and they would read it and it was like the you know it's like the New York Times or the Boston Globe they're like hey after you come back you have to keep writing a journal because every Monday morning we read your journal <laughs> and I said oh no way <laughs> there's more in my life you don't want to know about on the ground space I could do that no problem you find but, you have more time to do that stuff in space than you do uh, on the ground too because we get you get back to earth and it's yeah it's crazy you, gotta, yeah. you, you know you get back into the routine where maybe you have even more time yeah, I think up in space you do. You feel like you're, from, from my last flight, I just, you yeah. feel like you're rushed because you have a lot of stuff on the timeline that you're trying to do all the time. Um, but they give you part of the weekend off. And, you know, it's a good thing because you've got time to look out the window, time to enjoy the planet, and then time to, you know, time to yeah. try and relay that to the folks on the ground because we're really lucky. You know, there's only a handful of us who get to see that. And you just, I wish I could bring everybody, all my family and friends up here. You wouldn't believe how beautiful this is. And you try to capture it and... Luckily, we now have 3D camera or 3D video camera and HD cameras up there. So we do the best that we can to send the stuff back down. But uh, I think some of the human emotion is important, too. You journal that and send that out, and people can sort of feel, feel like they're there with you. Yeah. You mentioned you know, the way you stay connected. Um, on the flights I had, we didn't have a phone. We went to Hubble. Nobody was there. You know, if there was anybody there, yeah. we'd probably turn right back around. <laughs> But the, uh, the, fo the phone thing, you know, I've gotten calls from some you know, some of our friends from up there, and it's pretty hilarious when it happens. Have you had a lot of fun with surprising people? Oh, yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. Know, like, trick people? Do you, do you do, you know, prank phone calls and order pizza? What is, what is the one? <laughs> what, I mean, because people must... Cause I, I, I think that's, that's a good, that's a good idea. I mean, when I get... Oh, I can give you ideas like that. Yeah. <laughs> I can do all the stuff I would do. <laughs> but, you know, but like when I get... Because I even get, you know, it's, I go, oh, you know, it's a big thing to get a phone call from... So, I mean, what it must be... And we're astronauts, right? So yeah. when you call, what is, I mean, do you have some funny experiences? I, I mean, just or? people don't believe it. They're like, no, where are you? Did, you know, <laughs> why are you calling? Or, you know, we thought you were in space. Where are you? When did you come home? And I didn't, I missed it. But it, it is surprising to a lot of folks. They don't, they don't realize that actually we have a phone in space. And you know, it's not your cell phone, but it is yeah. a phone. And when we have the great connection, we can, we can call. And you can call anywhere. And it's great because it really does keep you connected to, you know, your family, 
because we have video conference once a week, but um, it's 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 a perfect thing to be able to uh, remember everybody's birthday and be able to call them and say happy birthday. You well, now i got to make a list for birthdays. <laughs> I didn't plan on doing that, but now, now you all know trouble. I can use this <laughs> phone. Yeah, holidays and stuff like that. At least you feel like you, you don't miss it entirely. Um, I'm, I remember being put on speakerphone and d folks down on the ground having a party, and you can hear, you know, you, you know, Glasses tinking, you know, chinking and stuff like that, and it's nice. It sort of connects. It can, and I, I think it's good for folks on the ground, but it's also really good for us because you feel you feel like you're not missing everything when you're up there, and you know parties are going on and stuff like that, and you're, oh, I'm not there. If you can make a phone call down and everybody wants to talk to you and say hi, it's uh, it, it makes you feel like you're you're involved. What about you, George? You get to use the phone on your first yeah. flight. Yeah, yeah, the phone is nice, and you know, yeah. the good thing about the phone. We always tell people, you know, we can call them, but they can't call us. Oh, that's, one that's cute. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's a, uh, but a lot of people, you know, they get a phone number, uh, you know, on their caller ID from Houston. I don't want to talk to Joe yeah. today. Yeah. And so you leave a message on their, you know, answer machine like, ah, oh, man, I missed this call. Yeah. And so that's always good. And they enjoy having that. And it is, it's a great way to connect with people. And, yeah. you know, it's just as good for us as it is for the people you call. It's pretty cool. Did you have anybody not believe it was you when you called? I know you have as many. How much time to call Sonny did, but yeah, I mean, believe you, well, what, what I thought was cool is when I called my grandmother, yeah, you know, for her to get a phone call from space yeah. where you know she grew up, didn't have a phone, probably didn't have electricity, wow. you know, she grew up, yeah, you know, pretty rural in Puerto Rico, wow. and uh, you know, so for her to do that, and when we had a uh, you know, cool. one of the private family conferences, for her to see her, her grandkid floating in space, that, you know, it was pretty cool. Actually, speaking about the phone though, my husband yeah, was getting tired of me calling. Really? He said, you, we talk to each other more that you're in space now. He said, what are you, you're not doing anything up there. Get to work because uh, <laughs> I'm tired of you calling me so much. <laughs> I've heard this problem before. Sometimes the kids you know, are glad like the parents are gone. Right. And, and, you know, Give just, me a break. Don't call yeah, so much. Yeah, stop annoying me. Come back to Earth where you're busy. And you're, but he really said that, though. Michael yeah, but he was sort of joking around. He, uh, he said, we, we talk more now that you're in space than when, uh, we're, when you're at home. <laughs> that is funny. Do it.